Yo, what is up guys? My name is Jack Daly and welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to be talking about smart materials. So that covers stuff like polymorph, photochromic, thermochromic paint. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first material that we're going to cover is polymorph. Now, what is polymorph? Now, polymorph is a plastic that its main characteristic is that when you put it in hot water uh, or warm water, but hot water, um, it will then become malleable where you can then mold it around surfaces. Um, so you could obviously mold it around your thumb or whatever if you're designing something to do with that. And the main part about polymorph is, is that it's used for prototyping ergonomic handles and stuff like that. So it's used in the process of of, of for example for an iron you would m use polymorph to mold it into the shape of the hand and you can take that into another CAD software and work from that okay so the next material that we're going to talk about is thermochromic paint or ink now what thermochromic is it's that it's ink that reacts to heat change or temperature change so you've probably seen it in some of the um, the mugs that they have two layers they have the first graphic layer um, behind it that is, isn't thermochromic and then it has another layer that has thermochromic ink on it and then when you fill it up with warm coffee it, um, it obviously reveals or in this case what happens is that the thermochromic paint disappears and it reveals the thing behind it. Uh, the main use of using thermochromic ink is that on things that when it gets too hot the thermochromic reveals itself and it says caution this is too hot um, and it's used as a hazard slash safety mechanism to show when something is too hot. This is used to attract users to the project product, obviously because it can change, it can move, and anything that moves, changes color, is obviously really attractive to users, which is another point you want to remember when designing stuff for paper one, or just in general. Okay, so next, similar to thermochromic paint, photochromic ink slash paint is um, instead of reacting to heat it reacts to light and that's where photochromic so when it's for example you've seen some of them shirts that for example this might be a black plain t-shirt and then with um, photochromic dots on it um, when I go out in the sun the dots will then reveal themselves obviously because there's a lot more light outside than inside so that's a use um, on t-shirts so the main use of photochromic are in lenses, for example, sunglasses, that when you go outside, it makes the sunglasses darker, and then when you go inside, it makes them lighter, so you can actually see more when you're inside. Uh, that's the main use of photochromic ink. Obviously, it's used to attract on t-shirts and stuff, so that's what photochromic uh, is used for. Okay, so next one is SMA, which stands for shape memory alloy these are obviously metals and what happens is is that you can you 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 heat them up you change them um you can make them smaller or whatever and then when you when you heat them back up again they then go back to their original position this is useful for like joints and stuff so what happens is you you would you would slim the part down you would put it in then you would heat it up and then it would expand and obviously go back to its original position and then it would lock inside the joint the this is used for like on train tracks the little interlocking parts um, to really get that that secure fit but in regards to graphic design or graphic products it's not one of the um, main points or revision but I know for a fact that on paper one or paper two they might ask you explain SMA and you can obviously so you can obviously say shape memory alloys and explain what they how it remembers its shape and all that good stuff okay so those are the four main smart materials you need to know the main ones are or the main revision point are is photochromic thermochromic and polymorph SMA is sort of um, neglected if you will but you obviously still need to learn it in the graphics and products course which is obviously what this channel is all about um, 
but if you're interested in this little there was a short little video today but if you are interested remember to leave a subscribe leave a like to show that you enjoy these type of videos and materials um, leave a comment if I got anything wrong or if you think hmm, actually found the chromic paint used in this or um, also ask some questions I would really love to do a and a and yeah Remember to subscribe, like, turn post notifications on, and go check out some of these videos and subscribe somewhere around on this page. It should be somewhere. Check out the two videos. Thank you for watching. This has been Jack Daly, and I hope you can. And I hope you're revising for your exam.